Welcome everyone to a new series. The game is Citizens of Earth. Um, this game... <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, this game's a RPG um, with a unique recruiting um, feature, if you will. I don't know how many characters are recruitable. I think there's around 40 or so, which is kind of like Sukoden, where you go around and meet different criteria to be able to recruit a new citizen into your party. And each citizen has a very unique way uh, that they can conduct citizen battle. Jeez. <laughs> Um, I think the... I'm not really sure 100% what the story is. I don't know that much about the game. This is a blind playthrough like most of the games I play on my channel. And I think something like an alien invasion happens or something. And as the vice president, you basically have to save the world by recruiting a bunch of citizens from, um, I guess, the nation that you're the vice president of. Uh, I've had it on my Steam list for a really long time and I've been meaning to play it. It's got a very earthbound slash Sukoden feel to it, which in my book puts it at the top of uh, games that I wanted to play. And it's got really good ratings on, uh, on Steam. So uh, without any further ado, let's begin. It's nice to have a game that uh, has... Uh... Morning, oh, is this voice acted? Are you still in bed? I'm coming in. Well, that's kind of nice. I won't have to do my woman voice, which is the most horrible voice of all my the voices in my repertoire. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's gorgeous out. You don't want to waste the day in bed, do you? I definitely don't. I don't want to pull a chrono. It's so early, Mom. <sighs> Come back later. Honestly, you can't spend your vacation lying in bed. So we already start our vice presidency um, in va on vacation? And did you sleep in your brand new suit? Why would I ever take it off? <laughs> I had a late night. It's tough being vice president of the world. Oh, so we're the vice president of you the world. You in office one day. <laughs> oh, if only the voters could see you now, my son the slouch. Well, well. At least go say hi to your brother. He took the day off to come and see you. Maybe only the uh, cutscenes are voiced. You missed breakfast, by the way. Maybe you can stop by the bakery later. But don't spoil your appetite. We're having an early supper tonight. What is the early supper? I didn't get to pick what it was. What's our... Wait. So, our, what's our name? Aw, oh, dang it. Are you serious? Um, I feel like he would go by Vice President just by the way he sounds. I don't know what kind of name to give him. I figured he'd have a default one. Mr. Pre Vice President, Mr. Gazillion, what could I call him? Um, Vice President, oh, I didn't like that, did it? So Vice President is the length that it can have. Well, I don't think I want to name him anything else, so let's call him Vice President. Let's just finish with that. So his name is Vice President? Oh my god, that's making making it really hard. Um, no, his name will be... I guess we'll make him Gazillion. You guys win. Uh, his name is Gazillion. I don't want to call him Mr. Gazillion because I want them to say Mr. Vice President. I don't want them to say Mr. Vice President, Mr. Gazillion. So Gazillion it is. All right, so his name's Gazillion. Yes, it is. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not touching that. This is a job for mom. Hey, what's in here? Hey, I like that it's voice. That's kind of neat. Uh, most of the games aren't voiced, and this could actually make it easier on my throat. Mm -hmm. uh, face, uh, face Buncher 3D, the greatest movie since Sliced Bread 3D. What a classic! I don't really know how to voice him exactly. I guess I'll just do my take of it on it. And all right, so do we have um, any kind of inventory? Well, none of the button I'm pressing do bring up any menu, so let's just keep going then. Hmm. Uh, what a great picture of me! You still got it, old boy! Okay. Hmm. Wow, Mom kept all my old comics! These'll go great in my vice presidential library one day! There's brother. Hey, little bro! Long time no see! Good morning, um, 
Mr. Vice President? Gee, what do I call you now? Oh, come now. There's no need for formalities. Sir will do just fine. He kind of sounds like Bruce Campbell. Oh, okay. Hey, I got you a present, sir. Okay. I left it downstairs for you. Why, little bro, you aren't trying to bribe me now that I'm in office, are you? No, of course not. It's just a little something for winning the election. Does he work for the post office or something? Or FedEx, I suppose? Brother Recruitment, open his present. Well, I left it downstairs. Thank you, but I wish I could. I knew how to open stuff. I can't open my menu. Maybe they'll like teach us about eventually, and that's how we'll have to. It's like, oh, you. Oh, maybe it's like a bag or something. Capitalism at its finest. Found you tab. Press Y to use it. There you go. That's exactly what I was thinking. Nice, man. That's an expensive present. Thanks, brother. Oh, so he already set up my email. How did he get my password? Hmm. I better not use my pr my private email, right? I don't think gazillion vice president gazillion at gmail.com will cut it. I'll have to use the private one. Uh, I don't want an email scandal on my hands. So we already got an email from the brother. Just wanted to say I'm proud of you for winning the election. I'm sure you'll be a great vice president. Dash brother. P.S. I told all the guys at work to vote for you. I love how he introduces himself as brother. Hi, hi, Vice President. It's here. It's me, your brother. Well, thanks for the email. Now let's see what kind of town do we have. So I'm assuming these are people we can recruit. So we've got uh, seven here: seven, twenty-eight, uh, thirty-five, forty. So we actually got forty. What's on the agenda today? Uh, open his present. Thank him for the present. I guess it wouldn't be very vice presidential of me to not thank someone for their gift, now would it? Now what about the system? Is it just okay? So we can save. Can we save everywhere? Well, we sure can save here. On oh wow, eight minutes on the dot. Well done. Challenges. Out of my way. Defeat 50 enemies. We've got a bunch of different stuff here. Nice settings. All game settings, I suppose. Uh, I'm glad. I'm fine with everything here. And I do not feel like leaving the game, so we'll leave it as that. Yes, of course. We'll have to thank him. Um, what's this? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I thought it was something else. Oh, now, where do you oh. think you're going? Ooh. Your brother got you a gift. You should thank him. You're right, mother. I'll thank my brother. Jeez, leave me alone. How do you like it? Pretty nifty, huh? It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Yeah, what is it, a laptop? I'm confused. Of course it's not a laptop. It's a tablet. It's like a phone, but bigger. You can do your big, important work on the go now. Even at a coffee shop. Ah, now you're speaking my language. What's a world leader got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? I'll take you to Moonbucks. They just opened one across the street. All right. Let's do this. So we got the brother to join us. He can order goods for the party via FedUps. What are we going to name him? Well, uh, brother makes sense. Though, uh... I don't know, what's my... what would be Gazillion's brother's name? Uh, Million? Bajillion? Googillion? No, brother will do. So his name is brother. Yes, it is. Well, we call him little bro, but... Oh my god, why did they not give him names by default? Am I gonna have to name all my followers? Brother will do just fine. Oh, nice, and they follow us scatter pillar style. All right, what's on TV? Hey, we were just about to reveal what Jack's evil twin looks like. Uh, mother is just gonna look like Jack, except he'll have a mean scar on his eye. I swear you boys are lost without your mother, huh? That's true. All right, let's get some fresh air before all my days of our bold and the restless starts. <laughs> This calls for a mother's touch. Thanks for joining, Mom. It's kind of embarrassing, but Mom is, you know, Mom's always Mom. Yes, Mom is Mom. Uh, can I see our talent here? Okay, so these are the people in our party here. Uh, let's see. He has no equipment. His skills are wrestle, beat down, doggy pile, and defend, while Mother... Um, okay, see, so he has a stronger defense, but she's a little bit faster. Also has nothing equipped. Uh, restores a little of HP and removes all status elements. Special attack that it causes defense and lecture. Ooh, okay, and she only has a two abilities. 
I don't know how they level up, and I don't know what that star next to our health means. I don't know if you can, guys can see it, but home is maxed out. Uh, he can get 0 of 64 home points, and for the star might be XP. So anyway, we'll, I'm sure the, the game will explain it to us. But until then, actually, might as well save. Oh wait, so we have an agenda here. Dirty socks, a filthy garment that is more biological weapon than it is clothing. And that's it. Okay, and these stars are what? Like, okay, doesn't matter. And let's go insistent to save. Yes, we'll save back on over that one. All right, so this game got pretty good reviews and almost didn't get made, actually. It was uh, in the, I don't know. Hmm. I wish this was a kind that would sing catchy songs. Oh, well. Oh, so we got XP. So maybe, did they gain stars out of that? Let's see, I just want to see that. So he gained, I think he did gain stars. So there you go. So stars are levels. Um, yeah, so Atlas, actually, this game was developed by, my god, Eden Industries. Check it out, Ma. My adoring public here to congratulate me on my meteoric rise to power. Actually, um... They don't look too happy. Say no to Mr. Gazillion. Nonsense. That's envy, you see. This is exactly why I got into politics in the first place. New quest prologue. You're an unadoring public. All right. Well, first of all, let's try and see if we can get into... Uh, find out who organized the protest. Sure. You. I'm not digging in there. I don't care what's inside. Sure. Imagine the headlines. VP steals car. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm pretty sure that's our car. No? Okay, so what does he want? So glad you're home, Mr. VP. That's Mr. Vice President to you. Well, thank you. It's nice to relax after an election. You here for an autograph? The only signing that's going on is my sign and your face. Whoa. Whoa, my face is my livelihood. Little bro, this is all you. Honey, you have to learn to fight your own battles one day. Hmm? Would you like a tutorial for this fight? Of course I do, uh -huh. yes. Okay, so listen. Good luck. Okay. All right, so Mr. Vice President doesn't actually fight in the battles. It's all about the party members. On the left side are action categories. On the right are all the actions in each category. Let's choose the nag category and use lecture for me this round. Okay. Special attack. Oh, I can't move anything. So, okay. So we'll do that. Now choose an enemy. Yeah, okay. That's pretty obvious. Great. Now your brother has two, two categories. Let's stick with round rough house. Each category has similar action within it. Healing, damage dealing, etc. Ooh, excuse me. Wrestle and beat down both deal damage. Depending on a circumstance, you'll want to select different attacks. For now, choose either wrestle or beat down. Hmm, so two extra, two to seven extra weak physical attacks. Uh, physical attack, one enemy. Two to seven extra weak physical, one enemy, or just one attack. Well, let's try wrestle, just for the fun of it. So lower defense. Hurts you deep inside. Oh no, we got hit. Now's the time to head to my encourage category. Yes, I guess we'll do encourage. With a hug, I can heal someone else and myself as well. Go ahead, select hug. I guess I'll hug the brother. Great, let's discuss energy. This is essential for strong attacks, and just about every action either restores energy or costs energy. So you can spend a few rounds gaining energy and then spend it all to finish off the bad guys. Let's use wrestle or beat down once more. Um, I don't remember how much health I did in damage with the other one, so let's just do wrestle, uh, beat down this time. One. I th wait, that was just one? I thought it was supposed to do two to seven. Oh no, we got hit with attack down. This lowers our damage output. Status effects like this are temporary and they get weaker as their duration runs out. As they run out, the color will drain from the icon like this. So it's already pretty low. If you select my lecture attack, I can drop his defense. Yeah, I think we should actually lecture to this guy. And your brother has two saved up now, so he can use Dogpile. You'll find Dogpile in the Pummel category, sweetie. Yes, of course. Okay, so this tutorial is a little bit too long if you ask me. Oh, and we actually defeated him. This calls for a celebration. I knew I could do it! Alright, so brother leveled up. Um, it's hard to tell. Ooh, mom boosts. Oh, that's interesting. So depending who's in your party, it can actually boost your other character's 
attributes during a level up. Good job combining a strong attack with a defense down debuff is very effective. If you want to learn more, open your tablet, select talent, and then select mom. Alright, so we beat him and we got an email now, so let's see here. One from mom. If you feel tired, you should go take a nap in your old room upstairs. I made the bed, uh, the bed for you since last time I made sure to tuck in the blanket extra tight. Just how you like. Love, mom. Okay, thanks mom. So I guess that's the amount of points she starts with, right? So if we go into his menu here... What does that... Oh, is that his level? Hmm, I really wish I knew what those stars meant. Mr. Vice President, do you have time for an interview? Of course I What's do! Um, let's How's chat. It feel to be home now that you've won the election, sir? It was a hard election, and our opponents did well. I'm just glad I get to finally visit my mother now. How sweet. Keeping in touch with your roots, huh? That always looks good in the polls. Of course. The polls are great and all, but I just wanted to drop off my laundry. Three months on the road, this stuff piles up. Oh, I see. So tell me, what's the secret to that fabulous hair and your signature smile? Whitening strips, my dear. Simple, really. Two handfuls of product and a whole lot of baking soda. And whitening strips. Mr. Vice President, do you have what's on your mind, sir? How about we recruit you? That sounds right up my alley. I have a couple stories I'm tracking down first, though. I need to get some pictures of a local man's car that wound up in a lake nearby. Done! And I need pictures for a story about how bright lights might revitalize the dwindling shipping industry. Hmm. Wow. I didn't realize you were an actual journalist. <laughs> Those stories sound a little over my head. Trust me, you'll want your face in these pictures. Local flavor kind of stuff. I need to switch my lenses. So why don't you go find the two locations I mentioned? You're a smart man. You'll figure them out. New quest. Photographer recruitment. Find the scene. Uh, the scene. Car in a lake. Um, can I talk to this? Okay, so all the cars seem to give the same problem. And we don't seem to go... Do these things run after us? They don't seem to. Um, I want to find a lake. Is there a way to look at the map? I don't think there's a map here. So, can we talk to the officer? Sorry, sir. The road to Camp Cuckoo is closed for now. What's Camp Cuckoo? Why, it's only the most gorgeous, fun-filled campground on the planet. Sounds oh, like it. I probably shouldn't talk it up so much. After all, I'm under strict orders not to let anyone pass. Making me want to go more than anything. Hmm. Can we cut this? Hmm. This has got... Where's the executive gardener when we need her? This has got her name all over it. All right, so we'll need to find her. And they seem to have abilities outside of battle, which is kind of neat. Um, I actually don't really feel like um, lining up a bunch of, uh, of quests before I start taking them out. So might as well just try and recruit the one girl first. Then maybe we can uh, start with the other quests. Also, um, this is probably not going to be a 100% uh, playthrough. Um, I do play my games blind most of the time, and I'm not the type of person to always do 100% playthroughs. Since there's so many characters to recruit... Protesting on an empty stomach only makes me want to protest harder. Alright. So I guess we need to bring him some food or something. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lake anywhere around here, so let's see if we can find a way to go down here. Maybe he won't let us? I swear, I don't think some of these protesters have bathed in days. Hmm. We got these barricades up so this doesn't spread to the rest of town. Sorry, but you can't pass. But I'm the vice president! Well, how do I know you aren't an impersonator? After all, why would you be at a rally against you? Boy, logic like that and I'll make detective in no time. But, but, but look at me. Could you fake this radiant smile? Come on! Oh, well, I guess we can we fight some of these protesters then? Don't forget to protect me. Okay, so, wait. Oh, no, that's true. We didn't. Uh, I don't want to use that right away. I'm going to try a beatdown first. And, Mom, how about you nag him, please? You so, like that, oh, okay. Huh? Just individual attacks. Oh, ow. Mom, watch it. Let's do, um... No, I'll just do another one of those, because that was actually pretty good. And she can hug herself, I think. No, I thought she said she could hu hug herself. 
Um. Oh, I'll just snag him some more then. Ah, there you go. So it actually does a little bit of damage too. So Protester Drop Donut Piece. Nice. So that's one gone. Let's finish this one off too. Maybe if we finish up. Okay, so. Um, now I can do Pummel, and she can Nag. Oh, 10 damage. And 4 damage. Can you let... Ah, oh, leave my mom alone! Oh, I'll just have to do a wrestling move. Are you sure you can't encourage yourself? Mom! Come on! There we go, a little bit of a you Nag. Now, her actually, her defense was down by quite a bit. Well done, team! Yeah, we, uh, way to go. Oh, wow, and Brother Booster HP by two. That's actually excellent. Or maybe just by one. Next ability, level three. Okay, that's what he says now. I swear, I don't think some of these protesters have bathed. We got these barricades up so this doesn't spread to the rest of town. Well, how do um, I know you won't? But I just beat them. Okay, so obviously I can't go there. Do they respawn once I've slept? Let's go try and get our health back up, because Mom's health is pretty low. No, actually, it's back up to max. I guess maybe we level up, level up after each um, each battle? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Oh, and the protesters don't seem to come back, so that's that's good news. Now, the question is, how do I get to... Okay, well, our quest was to go to Moonbuck, so let's go. Alright. This protest is interrupting school. Oh well. Preposterous! Let me see what I can do about this. I don't mind. So long as I got this delicious special blend. Either he's one of those caffeine junkies you hear about, or something weird's going on here. Hmm. So we can recruit him, but how? I don't mind. Either he's one Alright, so we can't recruit him just yet. I'm assuming once the protest is over. Psst. Hey, come here. Huh? Yeah, you! What can I do for you, taxpayer? I don't pay taxes. I also drink coffee. Neither should you. Taxes and coffee are two of my favorite things. Of course they are. They contaminated the coffee. Can't you taste it? Mm, maybe... Maybe he's, if he's crazy, we'll play along. Just so we don't get in trouble. It's so dark and aromatic. Bold, even. Too bold. It is surprisingly bold now that you bring it up. I was abducted once, you know. Aliens. They ran tests on me back in Uranus. Back where? They walk among us. Don't you get it? Don't things seem just a little bit off? To hmm, you? you may be on to something. It's the only way. Proof and a refill. Lots of refills. Here's what we'll do. You go find proof while I head to the police station. Good thinking. You go to the police I'm station. I'm talking, so let me handle that. You can track down evidence. Sound good? Stay strong, brother. Of course, my fellow citizen, non-taxpayer. Gain his trust, of course. You look like a man who knows where to get a good, strong sarsaparilla. You're in luck, my friend. I own the local soda shop. But to be honest, I think I'll just stay here all day. What? This iced special blend is drinking quite well today. Guys with beards don't like being disturbed from their coffee. I'll leave him be. <laughs> I guess that's true. Guilty. All right. Hello? Oh, sorry. My mind was just drifting away from me there. What's wrong? Is something wrong? Not really. Just waiting for my manager to come in. He's never late. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure he's fine. We'll figure out what's wrong with him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't close that. Hmm? Order the special blend. Trying to resist this brew is futile. Hmm. Oh, it's locked, eh? Alright, so I think we got a new email here. From brother, well, why didn't you just talk to me? I'm right next to you. Hey, brother, I hope you're enjoying your vacation and remembering to get some sleep. In the meantime, if you ever need to shop, talk to me. I can order items from FedUps. I already knew that. You just emailed me to tell me that. What are you... Brother. Now, where would the coffee shop owner be? Hmm. Oh, hello. Wrestling man. Hey, Pipsqueak. Why don't you watch where I'm going? <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? You can't talk to the vice president of the world like that. Vice who? What now? Sounds like a made-up pageant to me. It's called an election. 
I won, so you have to do what I say. I think that's how it works. Tough guy, huh? You entered some contest and won, and you think you're better than me. You're just well. lucky I didn't enter. What was your talent, anyhow? Being short and flabby? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny. Wait till I get the Secret Service involved. It wasn't some muscle show-off extravaganza. This is the real world, pal. Politics. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you got what it politics, stop by my gym sometime. We'll see who's the tough guy. All right, so another Later, person bro. we can recruit. I'm assuming. Bro, what an absolute oaf. Although an oaf with some pretty impressive golden locks. That's true. Demonstrate your strength as an elected official. Well, that's always fun too. Now we could go to the bakery to get breakfast, which I think is not a bad idea. I heard someone say there'd be donuts. I'm starving. Well, I do have a piece of a donut. Let's fight this guy only because right. why not? So mom does have her health back, so that's always good. Let's do beat down. And we don't really have any other abilities, so let's just lower ourselves. Oh, nice. Got your back, bro. Boom. Why me? Oh. <laughs> All right, so no, I'll do a roundhouse again. And mom, you just keep nagging, because it usually Impressive. works pretty well. You're there you go. Never doubted you for a second. So we get a bunch of energy, and I think you keep the energy between battles. <laughs> You wear, you can leave your friends at the school. <laughs> then they can gain experience when you aren't using them. <laughs> Unfortunately, the teacher is currently over at Moonbucks. <laughs> if he isn't too hooked on the special, then he might come back to the classroom soon. I just want to figure out where the boss is. Where did she say the boss was? I'm sure it says so in my agenda. Prologue. Unadoring. Okay, mom recruits. Yes, yes. Conspiracy bodybuilder photographer. No, that's none of them. Hmm. If I could only find... Alright, uh, let's go in the bakery then. I suppose can always please, find some... Please, out of my shop! Big Bertha's not for sale! Who's Big Bertha? You know how many hungry protesters I got out there? This backwater town's got nothing but donuts and coffee. And I gotta feed them somehow. Now are you gonna sell me that comically jumbo donut or not? Hey, that's for the police force. You wouldn't want that mob to start protesting you, would you? Hmm. Sounds well, like hey, a. Did it get good looking in here? Or was that just me? <laughs> the man of the hour arrives. You got courage showing your face round here. You mean in a bakery? Well, carbs are my weakness. Speaking of weakness, I hope there's no hard feelings about the election. Better luck next time. Tell me, have you been enjoying my demonstration since you came home? So he's behind a demonstration, of course! I have! It's nice seeing my face all over town, and here I thought you might be a sore loser. You <laughs> have noticed your face is crossed out on those signs? You... you got my face crossed out, but there's those no signs. I thought it's a double negative, like, don't cross my face out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving a speech later by Mount Pom Pom. You should drop by. Oh, we'll be there. And this isn't over, Tubby. I'll be back for that donut. So he's trying to find a way to impeach the president and then the vice president. You're on a door bully. Stop the opposition leader from causing trouble. Who's this? Hey, youngin. Let's chat for a spell. Sure, what do you have what to can say? I do you for? Let's just chat. Hello there, young lady. Oh, who you calling young? I was building barns before your grandma was even born. Whoa. Whoa how old are you? Let's see, plus seven, carry the one, carry the two, that adds ten years. <laughs> Don't worry about all that. That adds all you should ten worry years. about is this. She brandishes a shiny donut and hands it to Holy you. Holy democracy, this looks delicious. <laughs> Holy democracy. I know, right? Who'd have thought you could plant a donut? Um, well, not me, but that's genius. It's sustainable, too. You bring me a few donut pieces, and I can plant more donut crops! Hey, I already got a few donut pieces. Help him protect his prized possession. Oh, wait, that's different. Um, yeah, of course. Combine items. Yeah, let's create... Oh, I only have two. Well, that's too bad. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, my God, I... 
Oh, wait, does she say different things? Uh -uh. Wish I could, Sunny, but I gotta keep an eye on my mm. fields. You should come by Grasslands sometime and I'll show you around. So if we find the Grasslands, we might be able to do something. How about we buy? Yeah, because I haven't had breakfast. So a uh, bun, maybe? A donut? Do you have croissants? I could really go for... Hmm. So wait, how do we need to up our ranking here? Hmm. I'll buy one. No, you know I won't buy. And how can I leave with those protesters right out? Okay, so we want to protest. Big Bertha's the world's biggest donut. Trademark. All right, so let's try and take away these few protesters. That's one. All right, here we go. All right, let's see here. So let's do a little bit of a pummel and let's nag at him. I was kind of hoping mom would nag first, but I guess not. There we go, it worked. All well right, done, level team. up, please. Oh, not even close. Um, wait, what's this? Oops, I didn't mean to actually do that. So uh, how about you just do a little bit of little physical and you nag. Can you nag first, please? Got your back, bro. Oh, so you don't actually gain your health back after Another battle. I just noticed that. I think it's because I had gained a level. Java bean dropped evidence. Ooh. So we can get evidence from these bean guys. All right. So guys, I am going to end the episode here. We are at the 30 minute mark. In the end, next episode, I'll try and find a way to end the um, protest outside here. And I think by just getting a donut, I might be able to do it. Uh, maybe I'll buy one and try and give it to him. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Uh, let me know what you think of Citizens of Earth, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.